So it was two degrees in here before I started up that heater. It's already bumped up to six. And uh, we'll just uh, keep our eye on it and uh, tell you how much more warmer it gets in here. I'll put that right there. We're already up a point one. Cool. Six degrees Celsius which is better than two so and definitely it's nice and warm up here if I was to put that there for a little bit I think uh, it would raise to at least 11 yep there it goes 9.9 10 10.2 so yeah like this section of the of the vehicle is nice and hot my feet are cold so I've been trying to sit back, put my feet up over there. I put that heater into that wheel well area, kind of, and uh, I just triple check and make sure the, the back isn't hot. It's not. That's obviously going to be cold. And I just kind of check my bag, make sure it's not getting too hot. Uh, it's my, I might as well just move it away a little bit more anyway. But I wish I could just angle it just a little bit more. If I put, like, a piece of wood in there, that would jack it up so I can have it on, like, this angle instead of this angle. So the, this part of the bed's nice and warm. But uh, my feet definitely need some heating up. I was thinking maybe in a little bit, maybe at 7, we'll go uh, grab a coffee. Tim Hortons is kind of just right across the street. And that would uh, kind of break the evening up a bit. So up by the roof, it's uh, four, 15 degrees up by the roof. If I put it on the floor for a bit... I'll let you know what it's at the floor. And as you see by the floor, it's 5.7 degrees Celsius. Keep your feet up. It's uh, five, almost 5.30 and uh, people keep driving around as they're parking. They drive past and they'll definitely be able to see in and see these lights. So uh, I guess I gotta shut them off for now. I don't really need them. I just don't want, as somebody drives by, look in, see that there's lights on, and then tell this management that somebody in their car looks weird. So maybe I'll just shut it off for now and see what happens. Because they won't be able to see my laptop, I don't think. Off. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to see in now. <laughs> I think we're going to run out of fuel in a second. It usually flutters and stuff just before you run out of fuel. This tank was definitely not full when I put it on, but I do have another one. As you can see, it's all frosty. So it's just after six, so I'm almost finished my editing. And uh, we'll go over to Tim Hortons, get a nice hot beverage. Also, a bunch of people have asked, because I'm using that in my vehicle, uh, am I afraid of monoxide and all that stuff? Nope, got a smoke detector monoxide. And this also has a shut off uh, if the oxygen gets too low. And I've never ever heard of anybody uh, using this in a RV or van or whatever, having this shut off because of oxygen. Um, Definitely, if there's a leak between the propane tank and here, if you shut it off, sometimes it leaches propane and uh, this thing will go off if that happens. But uh, this doesn't leak, so we're good. Well, it's 20 after six and that finally just petered out. There's that little flame burning off the last bit of fuel. But I recommend always to shut her off. Definitely take, take the tank, frozen tank. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Take the tank off. And I just make sure there's no... I don't put a lid on it or anything. Because when there's a lid on it, to me, that uh, reminds me that it's full. And you can shake it. 
and you can't hear anything at all now. So it is 100% empty. You can definitely feel the weight difference between that and a full one. So yeah, I can smell the propane. Yep, just a wee bit, a wee bit. Uh, I put the other tank just out and uh, just because I didn't want it to be really cold when I use it, but that's a full tank, one pound. And we'll use that up tonight. And uh, but right now, I think what's I just got to finish this up, this job, and then uh, we'll go get coffee. Time to get some coffee. Just gotta. I always like to check out the window before I open the door. To see if somebody's there. Okay, here we go. Whew, nobody. Nobody looking. Busier parking lot. Yeah, much busier. I'm glad I came when I came. Thank you. Have a good you too, man. It's minus 22 degrees. I should have drove. <laughs> it's so cold. And it's a bit farther away than I thought, too. Cheers, guys. That's going to hit the spot. Thanks, James. Quarter to eight, let's get back in the car. Coffee's all gone. Woo! Minus 22. Baton Rouge. That would be good to do. Back to our freezing parking lot. Got to take these boots off because it's making the, even though I'm not really stepping on too much snow and stuff, I'm trying not to, but it's, it's making the floor a little wet. I'm gonna get my uh, heater going again. some warmth baby give me some warmth just check to see if there's any hockey on tonight uh the Leafs don't play tonight they play tomorrow against the Canucks at 7 p.m so I'll have to look forward to seeing that tomorrow uh this Sunday uh Buffalo plays the Kansas City Chiefs I am looking forward to that big time let me know in the comments below who you're cheering for to get to the Super Bowl Bills Bills Mafia it's minus three in here at the moment uh, hopefully this thing heats everything up. I'm going to crank it. See what happens. See if we can get some heat going. Here we go. Oh boy. Did you see that glow? Yeah. We need to get that heat up as soon as possible. Definitely heating up in here. Uh, I'm going to get my hoodie on. Get ready for bed. I just wanted to talk about one weird thing that I think about in these winter videos. Is as I'm walking... Uh, you know, as I was walking to the bank, as I was walking back, I'm freezing, like absolutely freezing. Uh, and then going to Tim Hortons and then coming back. As you're walking to the car, you're thinking, am I actually going to get into a car? 
and it's minus 22 degrees Celsius, which is uh, minus 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, to get into a car and relax and go then go to sleep. Like just the, the thought of that, knowing that it's so cold and you're going to this freezing van, but uh, I don't think I'd be doing it without this heater, without my electric blanket, this, especially this cold. I'm gonna just keep that on the floor. I'm gonna try and keep things away from this heater as best I can. I'm gonna kind of keep it like that. But uh, yeah, I've got a long sleeve. I've got this long sleeve shirt on. I've got like a thermal sh long sleeve underneath. I'm gonna do up this last button. I also have a neck warmer which I'm going to wear tonight. And uh, that will help keep the neck area warm. And then I'm gonna put my hat on, uh, my sleeping YouTube hat. And then uh, I guess I can keep that off for a second. Uh, again, I'm just really nervous. I, I brushed up against that heater one time and uh, it singed I can't remember if it was a sweater or something. I just got a little too close to it and it is hot. You gotta wear as many clothes as you can. Another awesome thing about this sleeping bag is it's uh, not like fabric on the inside. It is kind of like, well, it's, it's this material. I'm not sure what this material is, but it's like that on the inside too. So when you're wearing this type of clothing, you can move around in it without everything sticking and then twisting and pulling your shirt and all that sideways. Time to watch some videos. That went out again. Tank is frozen. Um, that would have to thaw for this thing to work again. The only problem when it's this cold, propane does not like it. So we are gonna get the electric blanket going. It's just trying to save as much power as I could until and that will last us for sure. Let's just crank it. Definitely putting on high. Now back to equalizer three. Because it's gonna to freeze tonight and this bed isn't big enough to have my laptop in there too without me rolling onto it and squishing it. So I thought maybe if I threw one of these little uh, hot pockets, little one, what are these called? Little hotties, like hot pockets. Um, then I will be able to uh, keep my computer somewhat warm you're gonna gotta expose it to oxygen you guys know how to use these i'm sure hey people in the south don't know how to use these so it's, it's gonna wait till it starts to heat up and i'm gonna put about two of these in the bottom of my sleeping bag it's just not activating as fast as i thought it should i almost should have brought a uh like one of those small heating pads and just put it on very low and stuck it in with my um, laptop for the night. I'm gonna I'm gonna purchase a, a small, especially for these cold nights. I'm gonna purchase a small one because I, I need my laptop with me when I'm doing these for you guys. I need the work. Okay, so it's it's getting nice and warm. I'm gonna put that in there like that. Zip it up. And that hopefully will keep it warm. I'm really interested to see if it actually does keep it warm. I'm gonna put my jacket over it too. Insulated it even more. There we go. So the bed's actually nice and warm now already. And then this one, we'll put this inside the sleeping bag once it heats up. It's down to four degrees Celsius, 4.6, which is uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll see what it's like here in the morning. I bet it's gonna be in the minus, it's minus 23 degrees. It was minus 24 earlier. So it seems to be going up and down. So that's getting warm. I'll throw that into the tow area. My electric blanket's heating up. My jackery is uh, at 98%. For some reason, it turned off. That's not good at all. I must have bumped it. 
so now it's pulling 150 watts and saying that if it continues on that route it'll last for like 20 16 to 20 hours which is all we need and these will are these are our backup all right back to our movie the following program is rated 14 plus it may contain coarse language violence nudity mature subject matter or scenes which may not be suitable for all viewers viewer discretion is advised All right, guys, it is 8.55 at night. I'm using my glove to hold my phone on a little tripod, and then I put my other hand between my body and the electric blanket and my sleeping bag to keep me warm. Uh, the movie's about an hour and 50 minutes, uh, but as soon as that's over, brush my teeth, go to bed, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for hanging out with me, but uh, stay tuned. I might try something cool in the morning. Night. Good morning, guys. I managed to survive another blistering cold night in my minivan. Uh, it is minus 18 degrees, but with the wind chill, it's minus 25 degrees Celsius, which is the coldest night now on record for me sleeping in a van. And uh, it is minus 12 degrees in the van right now. So what I'm going to do is definitely try to start this vehicle with my auto start and I think it works I'm hoping it works I set it up so that it's on full blast full heat so I think I hit this once oh my gosh it worked even the back one's on nice fantastic Let's go get some breakfast and endless cups of coffee. I bet this is frozen. Yep, water's frozen. Boots are frozen. Somebody said I should bring a hair dryer. Zap my boots. My uh, electric blanket turned off a while ago. It shut off also at uh, probably around 2.30. And then I got cold by quarter to three, and I woke up, and then I have to reset. We're down to 41% on the jackery. And that thing came in very handy. It is snowing. Car shut off for a bit. Oh, come on back, buddy. Come on back. Oh, frozen? Definitely. It's a few more minutes, and then we'll grab our coffee. And they're not open till eight anyway, and it's the first time I've ever eaten at this mom and pop breakfast place. So uh, yeah. Just hang on a second and then we'll get going. Okay, it's 22 minutes after eight. The vehicle's all nice and warm. Don't need the extra hoodie at the moment. Windshield's cleaned off. Let's go get some bacon and eggs and coffee. Bye Red Lobster, thanks for everything. Camp Red Lobster. 
So it's like two blocks this way. This would be a nice little plaza to do a 24 hour stealth camp in. It's got pizza, Subway, Baskin Robbins, a bakery. And over here we got Wimpy's. And the breakfast house. Couple going in right now. Four cars in the parking lot. Now there's five. <laughs> Uh, just one. Fantastic. I'd love coffee. Yeah. Thank you. I'll sit over here and that way I'll take number six spot. So what does this breakfast house have on the menu? Mexican Benny, Reuben Benny. I love to do their bennies. Look at all the eggs by the Pimeo, ham, chipotle steak. Oh my goodness. Oh right. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh boy. I'm gonna put cream in it this time, people. 10% cream. Sometimes I like cream, sometimes I don't. But I think I'm gonna do something like the Express. Cause it's three eggs, any style, bacon, ham, or sausage. So I'll just do three eggs and bacon. And just no um, toast or home fries. Or I could do their steak and eggs. Hmm. I think I'm gonna be having steak for dinner, so just the eggs and bacon. They also have all these amazing omelets. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for their meat lovers omelet. Right there. Who loves cream in their coffee? Morning. Survived another night. All set? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh, your meat lovers omelet. Yeah. Uh, no uh, potatoes or bread, please. Potatoes and bread? Yeah. Right. No carbs. <laughs> Thank you very much. No Just realized there's another side to this menu. They've got burgers, sandwiches, lunch, pancakes, French toast, hashes, Belgian waffles, beverages. And they got a special board up there too. Oh, fantastic. Super fast. I know. I didn't know it came with all that stuff on it. I don't, do you not like it? I'm so sorry about no, that. Don't be sorry, you're I thought right. I thought it was just the omelet no, and it's okay. uh, um, take a look. Let me know. That's the only one that comes with stuff on it. Oh my god, because I said, I'm like, perfect, meat lovers, just that. And I didn't say anything else was coming with it, so I really apologize. No, no, you're Great. Right, you're right. Actually, this was supposed to, this is the Mexican one. Isn't it? Okay. She got confused and gave me the Mexican one. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close up of the breakfast house meat lovers omelet. Check out all that meat. We got bacon sausage, ham. Look at all those little bits of sausage in there. Let's eat. Pepper this up. Definitely a little bit of salt, just a little bit. I've got my salt in the van. I think the only thing that would be missing on this is the cheese. Normally I'd add cheese that's pretty good, man. That is definitely going to hit the spot. I got bacon, ham, sausage in this one. Mmm. I put just the right amount of salt on it. Look at all that chunkiness. Need more coffee or no? Uh, yes, please. Yeah? Thanks. And here's another thing you can eat when you're doing carnivore. And you're out and about. Fantastic, thank you. Last shovelful. Perfect. And I get the clean plate award again. Nice. 
Another thing I love about these small mom and pop shops is the super fast service and good people. Just realized I should have asked them if they had real cheddar cheese and I could have added that to it next time. Any plans for the rest of the day? No, nah, just working. Just working. All right, so she charged me for the Mexican, which is a dollar more apparently. And so it came to $18.98 plus our taxes. And then I gave her a $10 tip plus another dollar because the meat lovers is a dollar cheaper than this one apparently. And I'm also gonna give the uh, cook 10 bucks because he did a great job on my breakfast. All right guys, that's all I have for you on this stealth camping adventure. A little red lobster, a little mom and pop breakfast joint in the morning. Let me know in the comments below how much you are loving these stealth camps because I am not gonna stop doing them. I'm, I'm just having the time of my life the fact that it's freezing cold and I'm surviving these nights thanks to my little jackeries uh, keeping the power on. I also had to find another way of heating the space uh, because the propane obviously freezes at this temperatures. But other than that, thank you very much to every single one of you guys for watching my videos, liking my videos, leaving those amazing comments. You guys rock. I'd also like to thank my channel members for all their monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys also rock. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I put down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.